everybody, my name is Sylvia and in this video I'll be discussing how to ace your packs RN and how to score in the 99th percentile like I did. So first, let's talk about my score. Um, I'm going to put in like um, a photo of the chart, but I got a composite score of 146, so I scored in the 99th percentile. So first, I'll show you my two main study books that I used for the exam. I use um, the National League for Nursing Review Guide. I don't know what edition this is, but I'll um, link it down below, and I kept tabs at like where I was at. And this book was amazing. Honestly, it was like had one of the most concise science sections I've seen, and I really feel like this book itself like really prepared you for the exam. However, this book was lacking a little bit in like the ecology sections and like in the biological system sections, like especially respiration. I found that I had a lot of respiration questions on my exam that were not covered in this book. Uh, so to fill in where this book was lacking, I used this book. And this book was alright. This is the Test Prep Books Pack Study Guide 2019 to 2020. And it was okay. I found this one was a lot more like complicated and included a lot more information that wasn't necessarily included on the exam. But nevertheless, I do think it's a great book. However, I primarily use this one. This was more of like a once in a balloon type of thing. So another piece of advice I have is like, if you don't want to be carrying these books everywhere with you, I know that I live in New York and like trying to read this on the train is impossible. What I did do was I took notes on like every section of like all the stuff that I thought was important. So I would carry this around with me. It was a lot smaller than the book and it was a lot more handy. So I found myself studying more and it was just a lot more convenient to have like a little notes guide. It's just a lot more helpful. If you're that type of person, you can do it. But this is absolutely not necessary. What I do honestly think is necessary is this book and this book. My number one tip is to go to the National League of Nursing website and to buy the practice exams that they have because those are written in the same format as the test questions are. So it kind of gets you ready for that. Also, a lot of the questions that I was taking more specifically in the science section because I only bought the verbal and the science test. So a lot of the questions I took in the science section actually showed up on my exam. And a lot of the passages I was reading in the English section actually showed up on my exam. So just like something to think about. Of course, there's practice tests in this book. Honestly, if you have the time, I 100% think that you should dedicate the time to take in all of the practice exams in this book. So there's three practice exams for each section and then there's three like big exams in the end. And take them timed because time is a killer on the test. Doing the science section, I was freaking out because of the time. But taking these timed and then going over it and like writing down concepts that you were unclear on and writing down concepts that you got wrong and then re going over those concepts will really ingrain that information in your mind and it will help you be successful on the exam. I'm telling you this, I know it, I guarantee you, okay? All right, now that you've read all your practice books, you've taken all of your practice exams, what do you do if you still don't feel ready? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. What I did personally was I would go and watch videos on topics that I was unclear of. My favorite was um, watching crash course videos. Those were so helpful, but also there's this YouTube channel called like The Chemistry Tutor and he is awesome, okay? I'm gonna link him down below and all the videos I watch and like the playlist, but these videos are gonna help give you information that like you didn't even know you had to know. And it's not really necessary to do that. I think that just reading the books, doing the practical exams and doing the ones online are good enough, but like this is for them students that really wanna make sure that they got it. Hi, that's the end of my YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys do, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want more videos on this, PaxRN tips or anything of the nature, please leave it down in the comments below and I will respond.